Now, today, we face more complex challenges than generations past. Uh, a medical system that holds the promise of unlocking new cures attached to a healthcare system that has the potential to bankrupt families and businesses. A system of energy that powers our economy, but also endangers our planet. Threats to our security that seek to exploit the very interconnectedness and openness that's so essential to our prosperity. And challenges in a global marketplace which link the trader on Wall Street to the homeowner on Main Street and the office worker in America to the factory worker in China. We all share in opportunity, but we also all share in crisis. And at such a difficult moment, there are those who say we can't afford to invest in science, that it's a luxury at a moment defined by necessities. I could not disagree more. Science is more essential for our prosperity, our security, and our health, and our way of life than it has ever been. And my administration has set another goal to compete for the jobs of the future and to encourage the scientists and engineers of the future. By 2020, America will once again have the highest proportion of college graduates in the world. We used to be number one. We have fallen behind. We are going to regain our position. 